Now turning to the topic of school safety and with school just around the corner, Hayden Wentworth spoke with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office about some important reminders and tips on sharing the road. You may have already seen them recently as buses are practicing their routes, preparing for the start of school next week. Law enforcement is reminding everyone of the safety that comes with sharing the road. Don't pass a stop school bus. Don't do it. A statewide survey from the New York Association for Pupil Transportation says about 50,000 drivers illegally pass stopped school buses every single day in New York during the school year. Deputy Brendan Hurley from MCSO says on top of breaking the law, the risk of what could happen is simply not worth it. Worst case scenario, there's kids out, out there and you're going to hurt somebody or kill somebody. Um, the other scenario is we're going to be sitting there watching because we do, especially this time of year, we're going to be following the buses, making sure everybody follows the rules. And if you pass that school bus, you're going to get a, a, a pretty hefty ticket. Hurley says at the beginning of the school year, with warmer weather, more students are walking to school as well, adding check all the crosswalks before driving past them because people do have the right of way when crossing. Well, there's a lot of kids who are going to be walking to and from school, especially this early time of the school season where it's still kind of nice outside. So it's strength in numbers. Right? Try not to have your kids walk by themselves, right? especially if they're very young. Hurley says make your morning easier. Plan ahead for when you leave for your commute to work so you don't run into any delays. The rest of us as a community to remember it's that time of year again. School's going back in session. You're going to see buses. They're going to be stopping. Maybe you need to leave for work a little bit earlier because there's going to be a bus stop on your route. Bottom line is slow down and don't break the law. The consequences could be deadly. The state DMV says our youngest students, K through third grade, are most at risk. These children, though they represent less than a third of the student population, they're involved in most cases where a student is seriously hurt or killed. In the studio, Hayden Wentworth, News 8.